north, south. Rainy day, just setting up the Starlink. Now, this is my backyard. So, yeah, north. See the horrible day we got, yeah, we've got little patches of you know, blue. So that being south, this is my kind of setup. So obviously this is gonna get on a pole, probably on that corner. I'm just testing best positions here. So yeah, due south would be directly that way. So that, that's the sky I'm looking at. Pretty good. Now I'm getting really good speeds just here on the force, obviously up there. I'll test it again before I temporarily mount this with um, you know a pole. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get my Teltonica RUT360, which is my 4G, 3G backup modem. So the idea of this system is so, when I put that up there, I could just pop it off, unplug it and take it with me in the caravan. There needs to be a changeover because we're running a ring camera system. So basically we still need in internet here at home to run our server and stuff. So the idea of this is just to pull it straight out of the Telstra modem. And obviously the, the SIM card that's in the modem is gonna kick in but it's a very limited speed, it's a cap speed. So I've got Teltonic modem, which is an external modem. It plugs in the same way through this, like with the ethernet adapter. Um, so let's go do that. Okay, so there's the uh, Teltonica, not plugged into the uh, Telstra modem yet, because I'm still running the Starlink ethernet adapter. So that's the live, obviously we're streaming. So let's unplug that blue cable from here and we'll plug it into that. Right, let's do it. So we're still streaming, so Starlink's still on. Literally just gonna unplug it from here. I'm trying to do this one hand, we should have a tripod. So let's see that tilt remote we should go off. There we go. So that's showing that there's no no internet. Now straight into this, all right? So that's plugged into the red port, the WAN port, all this area now. And this one here, on this one, we're going to the land, the local area now. So it's, it'll light up. And then that should go back to the same color as it was, not the backup color. So that's waiting for internet. Let's see if it should prioritize to this, the local area. And there we go. Let's see what happens. Beautiful. Now, how easy is that? So that's the idea. And this is what I was trying to achieve. So now the Starlink's off, I can unplug this and take it with me. So that'll just play catch up now. Let's see if it can swap over pretty quick. Let's see how long it takes. So that's 4G, 3G modem, it's on 4G at the moment. Yeah, 4G with two bars. I'm actually in a 5G area, so if I got the RUT, the I think it's the 50X, that's the 5G unit. You know, it's three times the price of that. They're a relatively priced unit and perfect for if you're in a good 4G area. And 4G is good for you know 20, 20 plus megabits a second, which is more than enough to stream. Um, but you know, we're not even doing that at home. And there we go. Look at that. We're back on. Now, obviously, I'm not I'm not doing this as a backup. I'm doing this so I can unplug it put the Starlink back in its box, throw it in the caravan, that's ready to go. And I've still got internet here. That has a Telstra SIM card in it. You can put whatever carrier you want in it. But that's got my Telstra SIM card in it that's attached to my phone plans. So that's got a lot of data in it, but it's only for my cameras and I'm able to see that. So now if I, um, you know, were to put my Wi-Fi off on my phone and just go, you know, off the 4G tower, I can log in to my home system through this router. It's, it's a seamless swap over. So that's achievable guys. So for you guys that have the Telstra Gen 2 modem out there, and I haven't had to do any, I haven't had to change any settings at all. I thought I might've had to put it in bridge mode and disable the Starlink's Wi-Fi. I did that and it worked, but the problem is you lose access to the, to the router from your phone. So you don't get all the statistics, you don't get all the information. So I thought I'll reset it. You know, you plug in and plug out six times, reset the Starlink modem and basically start again with the install, name your, um, your Wi-Fi, so I turned it on this time. And I thought I would try with the ethernet adapter with that Wi-Fi on, you know, because it's, it's a bit hit and miss out there. You get stories but not working. And Well, mine worked straight away. Plugged it straight in, perfect. All of my devices work. You know, we've got a Google Home system here. 
everything's working, all the cameras, there's no, and that's the other idea of it as well. Everything, there's like 32 devices on this Gen 2 modem. And, you know, I know people are gonna say, well, why didn't you just hook everything up to the Starlink modem? Well, if I take that with me, I'll lose my home network, it's gone. Then I gotta come back and redo it all again. Like, it's, it's just annoying. I don't, with this setup, I don't need to change anything. It is a plug-in, plug-out setup, quick and easy. And, you know, camping and going away is supposed to be quick and easy, and that's the idea of this. So now I can actually packle this up, test is done, happy days, we're all good to go. Almost forgot, we're gonna go back now. So let's assume, you know, we've rocked up back at home, we want to, we pulled the Starlink back out the box. Um, obviously it's temporary guys. Um, and we're going to reinstate the Starlink system, you know, cause it's fast internet. So we're on, on the backup now through the RUT 4G running and I will simply take it out of the LAN and put it straight into the ethernet adapter. Now I'm streaming at the moment. So let's see what happens. Let's try and do this live. All right, out. There we go. All right, so that'll watch the Telstra modem. So it sensed the disconnection from the RUT, Teltonica modem. Now it's obviously downloaded a bit, it's, it's buffered a bit. Oh, look how quick that was. So that's gone straight over the Starlink. Now, I mean, I guess the difference is this was already set up, so the the Starlink, you know, Dishy was already acquired, it was already on, it was already running, it was already powered up. So I think the, the way to do it, when you reinstate it, would be to plug your modem in, you know, turn it on, get all your dish back up and running. Then the last thing to do is, is connect that, you know, your, your LAN cable up from your Ethernet adapter. Because then, look at that, seamless transfer from 4G straight to Starlink. Well, hey, how about let's let's go back again. Let's why not? So we'll unplug that one. It's unplugged. And we'll plug it here. All right, so once again, the orange light. And we actually ran it before I left for about three hours, two and a half, three hours. And then let's see what happens. Keep watching the lights, guys. Maybe I wasn't quick enough. Oh, look at that. Straight to green. It's maybe because I let it go too long before. Um, before I plugged it in, but we're streaming and it's sent straight away. So how good's that? So that's interchanging between modem to Starlink. Beautiful, so happy.